Hey guys, Katie here, just getting ready for our workout today. So I'm gonna give y'all a minute to pop on. I'm still getting all my equipment hooked up here. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, my workout did not go as planned yesterday. I did um, an old bar class that Dana, you had posted that I really liked and that was great. Um, hey Lindsay, hey Carrie. And then I was gonna do some Zumba, um, some stuff that, hey Blakely, um, they put out, but um, they didn't have it at the right time, so I didn't get to do my Zumba yesterday, but definitely um, got some yard work in. Hey Sherry. Um, so anyway, so here's what you need today. If you have weights at home, whatever assortment of weights you've got, grab them. If you don't have weights, totally fine. Um, if you have resistance bands, you could do everything um, needed with resistance bands. Um, hey Erica, if you don't have any of that, um, anything in your house will work. I was honestly even thinking um, like a chair. Like if you just wanna hold on to a chair for a weight and do chest press with that, um, cans, um, anything will work that you can grab and hold. Uh, I did put a tutorial up, tutorial, <laughs> a little video up. Uh, yesterday about um, just an idea I had that you can make weights out of a milk jug. So if you have a milk jug filled with water or sand or whatever, um, water is easy because you can pour it out or add more depending on how much weight you need. So, um, so oh, Carrie, you'll get back to it. Don't worry. Um, so anyways, don't forget, I don't play any music because of copyright issues and I don't want them to take my video down, which has happened before, not here, but another place. So make sure you have some music. Um, I'm listening to Rock My Run. What's the station I'm listening to? I've never listened to it before. I'm just trying it out. Um, it's Pure Dance 2020 and it's version two. So we'll see how that goes in my ear. Um, hi, Ken. Really? How's it going? Um, okay. So here's how today's going to work. We're going to do three rounds. Um, when we, hey Mara, um, we're going to start with cardio first. I will time you on the cardio and then we have, um, 10 strength exercises. So it's a little more strength heavy today. Um, and, uh, we'll, we'll take a break after that and then we'll redo it. Hey Sylvia, hope you're working out with me. Um, and, the, uh, every time we do the, the, the whole round, that cardio round in the beginning will get shorter. So I want to get a little more intense. Now the cardio is your choice today. Any move that you want to do. So go ahead and start thinking. Um, the things I want you to steer clear of, because we're going to do Tabata at the end, um, is jumping jacks, frog jumps, and burpees. So if you really want to do some star jumps, you're welcome to do that. Um, jump rope, running in place. I'll give you all some ideas. You can do the same thing for the whole time or you can switch it up. So, all right, let me hit my play on my music just so I have a beat in my head. And let's get warmed up. So let me know if y'all can't see or can't hear me at all. I think everything's going fine. I have y'all propped up a little differently than normal. Don't forget to start your workout. I totally just forgot. <laughs> all right, and y'all know I do have to go check on my kid upstairs a little bit. She is watching Roadster Racers right now, so. All right, grabbing behind, keeping that knee pointing straight down. If you wanna get a little bit more, you can get that stretch up through this, the upper body a little bit, reach with those arms up on those toes. Good, all right, let's do our hurdle walks, hurdle, lift your legs over. Normally in a class I have a whole room to do this with, so we do actually walk with these, but just lifting that leg up and over. Good, keep going, keep going. We'll switch legs in a second. Sophia, we just got started, we're warming up. All right, other leg. We did quad pulls and knee pulls, and now we're doing these right here, if you wanna add those in. We're gonna take it to some squats. Weight to the heel, knees behind the toes, chest stays up. My shirt doesn't even cover my belly very well anymore. Good thing I got these maternity pants on. <laughs> All right, let's get some glute work in here. So I want you to grab your ankle and your knee, gently pull up. Feel that stretch on the back side. Remember, you wanna pull both places. If you just pull here, it's gonna put some torque on that knee, which we do not want. Now, as 
as y'all know, I do have to take it a little easy considering my current condition. I've been getting my heart rate a little too high with doing these live workouts, which is great. Um, I just have to be careful. So if I take it down a notch, back to squats doesn't necessarily mean that you do. Keep going on those squats. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Haley. Hey, Miss Heppin. All right, let's take it to some reverse lunges. Remember that front knee stays behind the toe, chest stays up, add those arms into it. Don't just stand here like this. We wanna get some in that upper body, getting that heart rate up. All right, we're gonna take it some lateral lunges. Side, come to the middle, side. You don't even have to move those feet. If you have room, you can step together. I'm running out of room right here, but we wanna get the inside of those thighs. Um, if you don't have, if you do need a mat for one of the exercises, if you don't have one, a towel will be fine. It's really just for your knees to cushion or if you need it for anything else. All right, let's take it to a little bit heart rate up. So get those knees up. Hi, Lisa. Come on. We're not doing anything crazy. We're just getting our heart rate up. So just moving. Try to get those knees up a little higher than me. Mine don't go that high right now, but get those arms pumping. Then we're gonna do some butt kickers. Swinging those arms up and down. Woo! Good, let's take it side to side. Just a little side shuffle, whatever room you've got. See where we're at. Couple, maybe another minute or so, and then we'll get to the workout. Keep it going. Keep it going side to side. Just checking in on y'all. Let's take it to that lateral lunge again. Let's add a punch. Good work. Just getting warm, y'all. Let's see what we got. A little bit longer. Let's do some hamstrings. We are doing some hamstring work today. So I want you to kick forward. Okay, I want you to windmill the arms around, but here's the thing. Kick straight, don't kick across. The arm is what's crossing. Okay, you wanna keep those hips straight. Couple more squats, come on. Three, two, one. All right, guys, if you need a sip of water, grab it. So we're gonna get started quick. So this first round, instead of going through and explaining everything and wasting that workout we just did, we're just gonna get to it. And the first round will go a little slower because I'll, I'll explain each exercise as we go, but that is fine. So remember, you just need an assortment of weights, bands, if that's what you've got, will work. Anything else in your house, cans, anything you can hold on to. And if you don't have any weights, you can still do everything body weight, just do more reps or do them slower, both, okay? So here's what we got, three minutes of cardio, your choice on the cardio. I'll be changing it up. <clears throat> oh, you're good, Gary, just take the jumps out. Um, <clears throat> you can change it up however you want, but it is three straight minutes of cardio, should be good and warmed up here. Remember, we're avoiding jumping jacks, frog jumps, and burpees, because we're doing those at the end. So no need to do any extra of that, right? All right, three minutes on the clock. I'm gonna start with knee crunches in three, two, one. Your choice on your cardio. Now, if you have a set of stairs, I've got a set right here. That's something I've been using a lot recently. It's just walking or jogging up the stairs. Surprisingly, even walking gets your heart rate up pretty quickly. Y'all keep moving, y'all keep moving. I'm just gonna scoop some of my stuff out of the way a little bit so I can use these stairs. I'm gonna go up and down the stairs. Hey baby, how you doing? Good? 30 seconds in, come on. All right, if you wanna do some jump rope, I'm just giving y'all ideas. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Probably should turn my phone on, do not disturb, huh? That would be helpful. Keep going. Get those arms moving if you're doing jumping rope. 
I'm taking it back to those stairs. I told y'all, I like those stairs. And if you can also do some toe taps, you can do step ups, you can even do jump ups. Just keep moving three minutes straight. Woo! I'm really running out of ideas. That never happens, does it? Out and in jumps. Remember, you can always just take the jump out. Carry. Just moving. You are over halfway through this cardio round. Come on. Whatever cardio you want, just have some fun with it. If you need to get some energy out with your kids, this is a good part for them to join you on. Good work, keep it up. Two minutes in, two minutes in, one to go. Remember, you could always take it up to the second step. Just watch your coordination. Come on, 45 to go. too high of heart rate. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Take that breather. Okay, so you do not need a step. If you have one at home, that's great. Get a little easier. We're going to do chest press. Now here's the thing. You can do this flat on the floor. If chest press is not your thing, push-ups are just fine. Just make sure if you're doing a push-up, that core is in line. Press Bending at the elbows, not shrugging at the shoulders. Now, I have to do this on an incline, so that's why I have my bench set up. I am just lucky enough to have a bench in my possession. All right, so take a second. We do want to bring that heart rate down just a little bit before we lay down. All right. Chest press. So whatever weights you've got, I would say medium to heavy. First round is 16 reps of all the exercises. All right. So remember, you are laying either flat on the floor, if you have a raised surface, you're doing that, or push-ups if you don't have any of that, okay? 16 reps, let's go. Aggressive up, control down. Even, especially if you have lighter weights, if you're using cans, you wanna really focus on the slow down. Even a light weight can be really, really hard if you focus on that slow movement down believe that was eight for me. Nine. Y'all can go at your own pace, totally fine. Make sure your head is resting on the ground. Twelve, I think. <laughs> Thirteen. Slowly. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Good. All right. Remember, your pace. If you need to go a little slower, that is fine. Just try not to go any faster. If you're going faster, you're going too fast for what we're looking for. All right. So if you do have a bench or something, just move it out of the way. We're going to be doing single leg deadlifts. I chose single leg today because I know most of us don't have heavy weights to really lift at our houses. So whatever you've got, even if it's body weight, even if it's body weight, you will still feel this. Now, let me show you body weight first. Of course, my balance is going to be a little bit off. Weights in that standing heel. You're hinging at the hips. That back leg extends backwards and back up. All right, now I'll show you from the side. Ideally, you want to hold the weight in the hand with that leg. Just don't let it force you to lean over. Um, really, you can use any hand. It just kind of depends on your body mechanics and what you're looking for. Um, if you hold it in this hand, it might help keep you centered a little bit better. If you hold it in this hand, you might start opening that hip, so find what works for you. All right, we got 16 reps, and because these are our uh, longest rep counts, you might wanna go a little lighter if you have weight options. So 16 reps. 
control. It's all about control. Six, we got 10 more, keep it going. Can't see. Hey, Sarah. Hi, Janice. Woo. Y'all are probably at what, like 10 now? I missed a couple. Remember, control. This is half about balance, half about strength. Hope y'all got some good music playing in the background. I know it's weird when I kind of peek at these videos afterwards and there's no music playing, but there is for me in my ear. Whew. All right. Probably, pretty sure that was about 16. Now we have single arm rows. All right. So if you have a surface, you can balance on like a step or even a stair. If you need a little more support, you can place your hand on that. Just make sure that that back is flat, okay? Otherwise, elbow right on that knee, shoulders and hips pointing straight to the ground, and you're pulling back, controlling down. 16 reps. Now, I am gonna grab this bench real quick because that is gonna get a little uncomfortable on my tummy. All right, 16. Remember control, especially if you have something light in your hand, lighter than you would normally use at the gym. Good job. I'm at 10, some of y'all might be a little ahead of me. If you finish before me, we are doing the other side of those single leg deadlifts. I totally just forgot. Pretty sure I got it figured out. All right, 16. Woo, keep it up, keep it up. Hey, Abby. Woo, usually one side is a little bit more, I think I need to switch arms, a little bit more uh, coordinated than the other, but actually there we go. This arm works better for me as far as balance. Also, I think I said it wrong earlier. When you use this arm, it does help keep your shoulders and hips centered. Otherwise, if you're using this one, you might have that tendency to open that hip up, which you don't want. I think that was about eight, nine. I can't count and talk to y'all at the same time, so. That's why I should do all these workouts timed, right? Control. After this, we're going back to that single arm row on the other side. I always do right first, and that helps me remember that I always do left. What? Yep, you can watch another one. Oh, how I bribe my child. Okay. I hear you. All right, other side. Let's get that row going. Remember, back is flat. The whole time you are squeezing through that core. If you can hold that lunge, it's gonna add a little bit to the exercise, just a little bit of core stability and just stability in general. Remember, slowly towards gravity. As I used to tell Sylvia all the time when she was in my class, don't let gravity win. <sighs> totally lost count. 11-ish, <laughs> 12, 13. Remember we're doing 16. All right, we've got squats next. So if you wanna hold a weight, you're welcome. I'm gonna hold a weight on, my, on the next round. I got plenty of weight right here, an extra 30 plus pounds. Weights in the heels, knees behind the toes, chest is up the whole time. 16 reps, come on. That was seven for me. Eight, nine, ten. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16. Okay, we've got overhead press. If you're using a band, stand on this belt band, press overhead. Otherwise, grab whatever you've got for weights. Make sure they match. <laughs> overhead press for 16 reps. Make sure you're not arching. You tuck those hips under, tuck that pelvic bone, squeeze that core, squeeze those glutes. Do not lean back. Three, control down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're halfway through nine. 10, if what you're holding is too heavy and you need to drop it down, that's okay. That shows me that your muscles are fatiguing, which is what we want. Sometimes, honestly, I'll drop the weights and go straight to body weight. Woo, I think that was 16, I might have missed one. All right, now grab your mat. If you need to fold it over, we are doing some work on our knees. So, these are pendulums. I'll show you completely sideways so you'll see all that. This is not a great example. You want everything in line, okay? We are going to lean back. I'm gonna show you first, lean back to where you can't lean back anymore and still come up. Okay, but what I don't wanna see is this, hinging at the hips, and I don't wanna see arching with the back. So I like to hold one hand in front, one hand in behind, and that helps me notice if anything is moving here, okay? Now, we can't add weights to that, let's not yet. Um, I wanna make sure your form is good first. 16 reps, knees right under those hips, and let's lean. Pause at the back. Hey there, hi Eileen. Hey Michelle. Pause at the back for a second. We wanna be gentle on the knees. If you have any knee issues, just do some lunges, because this can put a little bit of strain on the knees. 16 reps. If y'all are just popping on, you can, I believe you can rewind it as a live video. You can start at the beginning, or this will be on YouTube later as well. Um, I do ask that you watch it there. Once I get it uploaded, which last week was pretty quick. Um, whew. Good, keep that core tight. Make sure you're not arching or sitting. You should feel this all down those quads. I have no idea what count I'm on. Let's say that was 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Be gentle on those knees if it hurts at all. Hey, Aaron. Remember, y'all can rewind and start at the beginning or do it later if you can't catch it right now. All right, you need some weights for bicep curl, tricep press, 16 reps. Okay, get those feet grounded, hips right there underneath you, elbows glued to your side, pull. At the bottom, you just wanna turn just to clear your hips and reduce any stress on those elbows. That was two, we're going for 16. Hey, Jenny. Girl, you can rewind, I think, on the live video and start at the beginning. I've done that a few times if you wanna do it right now. Four, control down, five, Six. Ooh, 16 is a lot of reps. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Control. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Oh, Fourteen. Fifteen. Keep that core tight. Do not rock as you pull those weights up. That was 16, right? Okay, now we've got triceps, two ways. You can grab one single weight and do overhead, press, elbows glued to those ears, bending behind, do not arch that back, or you can grab something a little lighter, elbows glued to the side, hinging at the hips, and press back. All right, either one will work. I'm gonna choose overhead because it's a little more comfortable on my core. So let's get to it, 16 reps. Remember, control towards gravity. That was eight for me, nine. This is our last exercise for a little break. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
13. Oh, it's burning. 14. 15. 16. All right. That was the end of round one. How y'all feeling? All right. Hey, Kira. So, I know I told you the first round was going to go a little slower than the rest of them because I was explaining all the exercises. Now you know what's coming. Grab some water. You got about, we'll say about 60 seconds of a breather. And then we're going again. Two minutes for cardio this time. All right, whatever cardio drills you want. Um, like I said, stairs work great. It's gonna be exactly two minutes. So if you have outdoor stairs and you wanna run up and down, just time yourself for two minutes, come on back and we'll get started with the strength work. All right. Okay, woo. Y'all, I'm loving the stairs these days. I would just take y'all outside with me if you could, but I might lose internet connection. And if I go upstairs at all, I will. <laughs> all right, we got two minutes. On the clock, any cardio drill, just steer away from jacks, jump, frog jumps, and burpees. All right, I'm gonna start with sumo jumps. Here we go in three, two, one. Woo! Two minutes. We got this. Remember, you can do the whole two minutes the same exercise, or you can switch it up, whatever you want, keep moving. Um, I just want you moving. Get that heart rate up high for two minutes. Come on. How you doing, baby? You ate all your breakfast. My stair runs have turned more into stair jog walks these days. Try something new, not frog jumps, but we're gonna reach. I'm taking the jump out right now. About 40 seconds. Come on. You can even do a little football hustle side to side. 30 seconds. Come on. Get those arms in, whatever movement you're doing. The more you're moving, the more you're burning. Almost there, and then we're going to chest press. Three, two, one, breathe. Take a little bit of time before we get to that chest press. I'm gonna grab my equipment. Remember, y'all can do this flat on the ground or push-ups also work. Now this round, everything's 12 reps. So if you have an assortment of weight, hey Tim, this is um, the time to go up and wait if you can. We're decreasing the rep count, all right? Let's get to it. 12 reps. Remember, control down. Don't let gravity win. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, couple more, nine, aggressive to the top, control down. 10, two more, 11, 12, control it down, we're not done. All right, set it down, whoo. All right, we've got those single leg deadlifts. So whatever you need to move out of your way, do it. Whatever weight you have, grab it. Remember, pick which side you're starting with. Don't forget, because we're gonna do the other side in a minute. Let's do it, 12 reps. Control, oops, I got it in the wrong hand. I do that a lot. Half of this is balance, half of this is strength. If you need to go lighter to get the balance, that's okay. Another thing you can do, don't hold, but you can kind of just place your hand 
on something for a little balance point. Don't put any weight on it. I think that was five for me. Six. I'm doing 12. Then we're going straight to rows. All right, that should be 12 for me. Go ahead, grab your weight for rows. I'm gonna get my arms adjusted so I can use that. 12 reps, let's go. Come on. Control to the ground. Keep your shoulders and your hips pointing towards the ground. Hopefully you can hold that lunge position. Give you a demo again. I like to do my elbows on the knee. Hey kid. All right, it's a little uncomfortable for me these days. Squeeze that shoulder blade back, pinch it back. 12 reps, other side on that deadlift. Don't forget which side you've done. It's really easy to forget and accidentally do the same side twice. Remember if y'all are just tuning in now, if you wanna do it right now, I believe you can start at the beginning of a live video um, or I will post it later on YouTube. It usually doesn't take me long to get it uploaded as long as I can figure out how, which I'm not the best at technology, but I have figured that out. And we're going to 12. I think that was nine for me. <laughs> the worst at counting. All right, next week I'm timing you guys. That way I can't lose count. If your foot doesn't go very high in the back, that's fine. Whatever works for you. Y'all know I was a cheerleader, so it's just natural for me. 12 reps, come on. About halfway through. We got squats after this. I think that was 12. I was getting on count and then I said something. All right, squats. If you can, hold a weight. I prefer holding it at the chest. Force your core to work a little bit harder. Remember, weight's always in the heels. Knees behind the toes. Chest stays up. We have overhead press. I think the weights I used last time were probably better for 12 reps than 16. They got pretty heavy. Get that core tight. Remember, no arching in that back. It's not, you can't see it on me right now anyways. All right, we're hitting the ground for pendulums. Don't cheat that last rep. Make sure you control it on the way down. Whoops, those are my weights, don't worry. Now, if you want to, I would suggest something light. You can hold it at your chest. Just make sure you are not arching backwards. If you're arching at all, put that weight down. And honestly, I got enough extra weight right here. So 12 reps, leaning back. Remember, if this hurts your knees at all, just do some lunges. Totally fine. But this is also core as it is quad. So you should be squeezing everything front and back, including those glutes. Keep it up. Couple more. And then after this, we have biceps curl and your tricep press, whichever way you wanted to do that. I lost count again. I'm gonna do two more. I'm gonna say this is 11. I think that's about right. <laughs> All right, biceps and triceps. 
Hey, Emery. Hey, Kristen. All right. What did I say? Biceps and triceps. All right. 12 reps. Let's go. Remember, control it down. Just a slight turn at the bottom just to alleviate any pressure on those elbows, but also just to clear your hips because otherwise you're way out here and it's awkward. And also put some strain on your elbows. Remember, as you pull up, no rocking. Okay, keep that core nice and tight. We're doing 12. When you finish that, go ahead to your triceps. Remember, you can either do overhead press or bent over tricep extension. Either one will work. All right. For me, it's that overhead press because it's a little more comfortable on my core these days. Remember, if you don't have heavy weight, heavy enough weights at home, if you're using a can, just go slower on the way towards gravity really resist that pull and you will still feel it. Even just moving those muscles, sometimes body weight, you'll still feel it, I know. That's how bar workouts work and all of a sudden it is burning. And I'm like, I'm not lifting any weights. It's the last one of our second round. We've got one more round to go. It's gonna go a lot faster because it's only gonna be eight reps. And then we've got a Tabata finisher. I'm gonna finish with one last one because I have no idea what number I'm on. All right, take that breather. Woo! All right. Yeah, that round was about four minutes shorter than the first one. <laughs> less explanation and uh, less reps. So, y'all feeling good? Show me some thumbs up. Okay. This time, one minute of cardio. So, I want you to take it up a notch. It's only 60 seconds. Again, you can do the same exercise the whole time, or you can switch it up. I'm gonna try to do some star jumps, see how many I can get through with this bowl full of jelly right here. All right, make sure you're not sitting like me. <laughs> Bad example, I'm trying to get down to the phone. Stand, step, touch, walk around while we're taking that little, little breather. I'm gonna give you about 30 more seconds, and then we're we'll start again. Y'all, my nose always runs when I work out. And I forgot to bring a Kleenex down here today. Let me check on my kiddo. We got about 20 seconds. How you doing? Savannah, you good? Savannah. Okay, love baby. She's a little uh, into the TV right now. Hard to get her attention. <laughs> All right, guys. One minute of cardio right here in three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Oh, how many can we crank out before we have to stop? I'm gonna have to take the jump out. Woo! I do love, have a love-hate relationship with star jumps, as I know most of you guys do that have ever taken my class in real life. Real life, this is real life. I'm going on the stairs. Just moving, come on guys. Twenty seconds, come on. Ten to go. Let's do this. Come on, faster, harder, higher. And breathe. All right. Take a second to grab what you need for that chest press or push up. Either one. Either one. Remember, I want you to take a little break before you hop to the ground. Eight reps. Eight reps. If you can go heavier on anything, if you have it available, I need you to. Okay? Even if that means, I do have the weights, but they're in the other room, so I'm not going to grab them. If that means doubling a lighter weight and a heavier weight, like so, just make sure you got a good grip on it safely. It's not gonna fall out of your hands. It looks like it's about to fall out of mine. All right, 
which way is most comfortable here. There we go. Eight reps, let's go. If you're doing push-ups, slow and controlled to the ground. Control. Great job. All right, we got those deadlifts. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my bench for my rows in a minute. All right, single leg deadlifts. If you got something heavier, use it. It's only eight. Come on. Let's go. Remember, that leg does not have to go very high. Just make sure it doesn't trail sideways. You want to keep it in line, even if it's just right here. Okay, feel that in the standing hamstring and glute. All right, we got rows. Eight reps. It is really easy to just race through your reps when we're doing rep counts. Slow it down. You will get so much more out of your workout if you keep it slow, especially with strength movements. When it comes to power kind of thing, jumping and stuff, yeah, fast is good. Cardio stuff, but when we're lifting weights, we want to make the most out of each and every rep. Eight reps. Good. Take the other side on those rows. Ooh. Let's go. All right, we got squats. Moving my bench out of the way. I'm gonna add some weight on this one. Remember, I like you holding it at the chest best just for core stabilization, a little more core work, but however you wanna hold it is fine as long as you're keeping your weight back in your heels, your knees behind your toes, and your chest, of course, stays up. Just eight, that's nothing. We did 16 earlier. And I even think I can keep count better when it's eight because it's less. All right, overhead press. Overhead press. It's okay to have a little rest. If you need more rest than I'm giving you between exercises, that's fine. Let's go. Don't let that back arch. I know I'm feeling mine just a little bit. Overhead press done. On the ground for pendulums. Y'all, we have three exercises. And Tabata, that's the workout. We are almost there. Eight reps, slow and controlled. If you want to hold a weight up at your chest, just do not let that core get compromised because you want to hold a weight. It's not always about holding a heavy weight. In fact, I would rather you do no weight at all and do it correctly than to get all your muscles going and be like, I can lift 50 pounds on this one. It's not as important. Form always comes before anything else when you're exercising. I think this is about it, this last one. Biceps and triceps. All right, I'm gonna try a little heavier. Oh, my sister-in-law stole my tins. So I gotta use my 12s. We have already used our biceps and triceps today, doing chest press or push-ups and rows. So whatever weights you would normally use for bicep might even feel heavy compared to if you were just doing them completely all by themselves. 
And that's okay, because we should have fatigued them a little bit. Core is tight. Same thing with that tri those triceps as well. All right. Remember, overhead triceps or bent over tricep extension. Eight reps. Keep that core nice and tight. Either one, either way you're doing it. Resist gravity. Slow. We're almost to the end of round three. And then we've only got six minutes of work. All right, nice job. Grab some water, do not sit or stand still. Move around, just checking on you guys. All right. You all feeling good? Okay, Tabata finisher. We're doing four rounds. Oh good, my, my timer is down here. I was like, I almost forgot it. Three exercises, four, four rounds. Oh, my battery's low on my, on my, nope, that was wrong, on my headphones. Ah, oh, come on. <clears throat> All right, so here's what we got. <clears throat> You've got jumping jacks, which if you're anything like me, I'm gonna have to take the jump out. Keep the jump if you can. All right, then we've got frog jumps. This is gonna be really hard Tabata. These are all very intense. Squat with that jump, arms go up and down the whole time. All right, if you need to take the jump out, do it, that is fine. Okay, just like I did one of the earlier cardio portions. You can even come up on those toes, okay? And then burpees, okay? Now I'm gonna do it on the bench and honestly burpees are not, haven't been my friend. You can use a step or even a wall. I'll show you on the wall right behind me. Hands to the ground, hopping out to a flat plank. Not here. All right, hopping back to your heels. Stand and jump. I want you to your heels, not your toes. If you are here, you're gonna eventually hurt your knees, okay? Even if you're here in the middle, okay? So heels, 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 which is why if you have trouble getting to your heels, I do recommend doing them on an incline because it makes it a little easier to get your hips under you and get to your heels. Remember, your form comes for everything else. If you're not doing your burpee right, find a way to modify it so you can do it right and then eventually practice it to the harder one. Now, if you wanna do it on a wall, same thing, you're just doing hands on the wall, out, in, jump up, okay? Totally fine, you're moving, that's all I care about. All right, 20 on, 10 seconds complete rest. I do not mean sit down, I do not mean stand completely still, I mean, Step, touch, whatever you need to do, okay? All right, jacks, frog jumps, burpees, four rounds of those three. Let's do this. In three, two, one. Let's go, jumping jacks. I almost started with frog jumps. Now, keep going. If any of these exercises are not for you, whatever you can do is fine, all right? I know, for me, jump rope might be a little more comfortable than jumping jacks, just how it functions, two, one, breathe. 10 seconds, we got frog jumps. We are so close to the end, you guys. So close to the end. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. How high and how low can you go? Weights in those heels, just like any squat. Chest stays up. We are not going here. Keep that chest up, come on. Almost there, come on. And breathe, you got burpees? Get ready. Remember you can use a stair for an incline if you need to. Here we go, in three, two, one. If you need to take the jump out, step it out. On to those heels, not to those toes. Three, two, one, that was one round. We got three more to go, jacks. Going back to those jumping jacks. Woo, here we go, in three, two, one. Come on, Tabata is supposed to be as hard as you can go for 20 seconds, 10 seconds of rest, dropping the heart rate, up, down, up, down, with the heart rate, come on, 10 seconds. If you're taking the jump out, you need to get moving fast. Breathe. 
10 seconds. You got frog jumps. Woo! All right, not too high yet. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep it going, keep it going. I just wanted to make sure that this little box here I have in front wasn't blocking you guys. Perfect. I just realized it might be. And that would really be terrible. Breathe. Burpees. Whew, almost halfway done with our Tabata. Three, two, one. Let's go. Heels. Come on. Woo. Breathe. Round three. We got two more rounds. Starting with those jacks. Here we go. Two, one. Come on. Remember, if that jump isn't in there, you need to be moving as fast as you can. Heart rate high. Two, one, breathe. Frog jumps. Okay. Two, one. Let's do it. Come on. So what we call feel good pain, right? Hurts now, feels good later. Well, might be a little sore later. But then you know you worked, right? Breathe. Burpees. Almost our last round here. Three, two, one. Keep that jump in if you can. I know we're getting tired. I got an excuse, right? <laughs> I try not to, but whew, the second one a lot harder than the first, I'm not gonna lie. Breathe. Last round. It's gonna be 60 seconds of effort left in your day. And we'll bring it down and stretch. 20, here we go. Jacks in three, two, one. Oh, look at me keeping that jump in. There we go, that feels a little better. Oh, careful of your equipment. <laughs> For a retired cheerleader, I'm pretty clumsy sometimes. Breathe, frog jumps. Last set of frog jumps, last set of burpees. Oh, here we go. Three, two, one. Come on, 10 seconds. Right here, come on. Make it count, this is our last set. Don't give up on it now, come on. This is for you. Make it a better you today. Breathe. Burpees. That's it. We'll bring it down. Then we'll stretch. Woo. Here we go. Burpees. Try to get to that full plank position. I'm not sure if I'm demoing it very well because, well, it's hard for me to get there right now. Oh, breathe, team. Grab your water. Hi, yeah, yeah. So definitely a little more strength today. Heart rate wasn't quite as high for most of the workouts the last few weeks, but we need different types of training, right? We don't want to always do the same training. So it was definitely still hit style today. Um, more circuit training style. Um, and then, of course, finish with that Tabata finisher. All right, I'm going to turn my music off because I don't need it anymore. Just walk around. This is the time I would normally have my class put their equipment away. Um, don't sit down like I'm doing. I just need to untangle. Um, so if you want to go put your equipment away and pretend you're in class with me, I won't be offended. <laughs> mm. How you doing, kid? Good? All right, last episode, okay? 
She could watch Mickey Mouse all day long. Whew. All right. <sighs> Hopefully you've dropped down just a little bit. And this is uncomfortable. I'm gonna take this belly band off. Definitely helps with the workout, but once it's time to take it off, whew, it feels much better. It's hot too. I got this whole layer of pants and belly band and a shirt. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get a stretch. Grab one foot behind me, pointing straight down. I hope you guys had a great workout. It was definitely good. I know I've been getting my heart rate up with you guys on Wednesdays. This is my third one live with you guys. So I appreciate those of you guys who have been tuning in live, switch sides, or later. Um, remember, if you joined in late, it's going to be here for, uh, I'm not going to take it off of here, but if you do do the whole thing later or another day, please um, check it out on YouTube so I can get some views on there. Subscribe to my channel, please. I won't bombard you or anything, I promise. Heel to the ground, pull back through that hamstring, hard above your hips. If you have something to put it on, I like to do a raised surface sometimes because I can pull backwards rather than lean forward. Um, promise I won't blow you up if you subscribe on my channel. It just helps me get views and um, that kind of thing. Point your toe down and then switch. Um, Try to keep your hips straight forward. It's really easy to just let them open up. I know I'm doing it right now as well. I would love to hear what kind of music you guys are listening to in the background. I know I wish I could play something for you guys, but I think I told you all in the beginning, if you need to hold on to something, do it. Stretching out my backside. I have had videos, normally they just tell you and then they mute the part of the video with the music that isn't allowed, but um, I have had a few of them taken down just for the music, um, not for language, <laughs> um, just for the fact that it's copyrighted. So um, I don't have as much of a problem with that on YouTube, but on Facebook, the rules are a little different. So I hope you guys had some good jams. Rock My Run is great. Um, they'll suggest playlists for you after you listen to them, if you like them, things like that. All right, let's stretch tall. Hands behind that head, open those elbows wide. What time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock. Man, getting better at this timing. I've tried to be done a little bit before 10, but normally I log on at nine and it takes us a few minutes to get in because I gotta let some of y'all hop on the video. Cross that arm in front, keep your ear away from your shoulder. Whew, stretching up the shoulders, the upper, upper back. Whew, I can talk a little bit better today, but not perfectly. <laughs> Switch sides. So, I have an idea for what to do next week, but if y'all have anything you guys are wanting to do in particular, I will definitely take suggestions. Not that I promise to do them, but I will take them and think about it. Um, I would love to take you guys and do this outside. Um, I have a pretty decent set of, long set of stairs on my front porch that I would love to work out, but I have to be able to watch my kid. <laughs> and I don't think she would sit outside for an hour while I work out. Although she does while I do yard work, so I'll give her that. She has these rocks in her front yard and round out that back. She calls them her babies and she plays with them. And every time we do yard work, we find more babies in the yard. All right, y'all, roll those shoulders. I think I got everything. I was talking, so y'all know I missed things. Big breath in through that nose. If y'all want a core finisher, check out my YouTube channel. There's a couple on there. Twelve to the bottom. Thank you guys so much. Have a great Wednesday. Let me know if you need anything. Have any suggestions, comments, concerns, questions. Um, thanks for sticking out with me. Have a great day. Bye guys.